today's subject is human variation or variation in populations, genetic variation in populations. Let's say that genetic variation. Genetic variation, which includes mutation, polymorphism, and variation. <clears throat> All right, mutation. Let's start with mutation. Now, there are different descriptions for uh, mutation. So even though it's one word, it means uh, two or there are two or more explanations for mutation. So first, uh, not force, uh, first, uh, the description or mean of meaning of mutation in classic genetic, in classic genetics is any change in the genetic material. So at this point, usually genetic material is uh, DNA. So we can say any change in the DNA. Uh, but like your friend, like uh, Emre said, uh, there are some viruses which have RNA instead of DNA as genetic material. They have some changes in their genetic material in their RNA. So since their RNA is their genetic material, those uh, changes in their RNA, in viral RNA, viral genomic RNA, uh, viral genomic RNAs are uh, mutations, mutations as well. So the first description of mutation is any change in the genetic material. They can be chromosomal mutations. Uh, let's make a new whiteboard. So let's start with mutation. So first group are chromosomal mutations and second group of mutations are uh, point mutations. So at the moment, we don't take the RNA viruses in consideration. So first of all, uh, as a classic genetic term mutation, uh, is any kind, any change in the genetic material, and it can be at chromosomal level or it can be at DNA level. If it's at, if it's at chromosomal level, uh, we include the chromosomal deletions or chromosomal insertions or other chromosomal mutations like inversions or translocations. But if we say point mutation, that's at nucleotide level. Those are both changes in the DNA. So even the chromosomal mutations are, in the, cha uh, are the changes in the DNA. <coughs> but if we say chromosomal mutations, those are very large mutations. They affect very large pieces of DNA. But the point mutations affect only one or a few nucleotides or uh, only a few uh, small genes or portions of the genes. Now, in this case, let's look at the chromosomal mutations first. What the chromosomal mutations are. Uh, I can say the first group of chromosomal mutation is uh, large deletions. or let's say chromosomal deletions. I wrote CHR, that means chromosome, chromosomal, chromosomal deletions. Uh, or one, it's gonna be one B, one, 
the chromosome insertions so insertions and deletions uh, translocations and inversions So these are uh, the mutations we see at chromosomal level. So they affect uh, millions of uh, they affect uh, millions of base pairs, large chromosomal regions. So very large, too many nucleotides. They affect uh, the DNA, long as too many nucleotides, millions of nucleotides. So these are chromosomal mutations. Chromosomal mutations can be seen under the microscope, under light microscope. The most important difference of chromosomal uh, mutations is uh, we can see them under the microscope. There is also loss of a whole chromosome. Uh, let's say chromosomal loss. So uh, one person, one person or one cell can lose the one of the chromosome as a whole piece. Of course, again, chromosomal gain. Uh, chromosomal gain means one of the chromosomes to have an extra chromosome. So having one of the chromosomes as three copies. Okay, these are chromosomal mutations. These are the mutations at chromosomal level. Deletion means losing one piece of a chromosome. Insertion means uh, having an extra piece on one of the chromosomes. Translocation means uh, a piece from one chromosome to move at another position in another chromosome. For example, a piece at chromosome three moves to moves into chromosome fourteen or another chromosome. So that is translocation. Inversion: one piece on a chromosome to be converted. Chromosomal loss: losing one of the chromosomes. So instead of two copies of each chromosome, one of the chromosomes will have only one copy. And chromosomal gain means one of the chromosomes have uh, three copies. Then let's look at point mutations because we are going to be talking about point mutations more. So point mutations are the mutations at DNA level one, at let's say at single nucleotide level. 2A, I'm going to say, um, nucleotide change, base, base change. Base change uh, to B uh, small insertions and small deletions. Okay, so these are our. Uh, mutations uh, at the uh, at uh, nucleotide level. Uh, base change means one of the bases uh, to be replaced with another base. Small insertion means uh, to have an extra base in the DNA sequence. Small deletion means uh, losing one or two nucleotides. All right. Is it clear? Buraya kadar açık mı? Her şey tamam mı buraya kadar? All right, very good. Let's go to next page and let's talk about point mutations some more. 
So we said point mutations. And we said the first type of point mutation base changes. Uh, base changes uh, can be divided to two transition and transversion. Transition means <clears throat> Transition means um, what's happening? Okay. I lost the thing. Purin to purin or pyrimidine to pyrimidine. But transversion means I can't write. Purin to pyrimidine or pyrimidine to purin. Okay, so these are two kind two kinds of. Uh, base changes. What does base change mean? So it's also called nucleotide change. Base changes are also called nucleotide changes. Okay, it's also called nucleotide change uh, because only uh, one molecule in the nucleotide, which we care if it's different, is base. Rest of the uh, rest of a nucleotide, uh, the other two molecules constituting the uh, nucleotide, which are phosphate group and uh, pentose. Uh, are always stable. So they don't have any alternatives. So only bases have alternatives, alternatives. So only bases can change and nucleotide in this way, uh, because of this, the nucleotide change means base change. Uh, let's go to the other group. So if it's not, Uh, base change, the point mutation can also be point mutation can also be small indels. And that means small insertions and small deletions. Okay. So small insertion means insertion of one or few uh, 
by uh, one or few nucleotides. NT means nucleotide, by the way. Again, uh, only one or a few nucleotides. These a few means uh, like maximum up to 10 or 20. So if it's uh, more than uh, 10 or 20, you cannot call it uh, small anymore. You can, you have to call it large insertion deletions. And if you can see these insertions or deletions at the chromosomal level, which means under the microscope, under light microscope, then that's a uh, chromosomal deletion or chromosomal insertion. All right, are we okay so far? Buraya kadar tamam mıyız? Herkes anladı mı buraya kadar? All right, very good. So now, today we will work on these point mutations. We will uh, learn a lot of details about these point mutations. So, we said mutations are the changes in genetic material which are inherited. So mutations must be inter inherited to next generations. Like I said last week, and like your friend said today, these next generations can be uh, next generation of organism, or they can be next cellular generation. So uh, there are, uh, again, two groups of uh, mutations somatic mutations and germline mutations. Germline mutations are inherited to the next organismic uh, generation, but uh, somatic mutations are seen only in somatic cells. All right, so uh, let's start looking at these. So these are changes in the DNA, nucleotide change. Let's look at that in some more detail. So, starting from now, I prefer, I will prefer to say nucleotide change instead of mutation, because uh, we don't want to use the word mutation anymore that much, because mutation may mean something else. Instead of that, uh, we call any kind of change at nucleotide level a nucleotide change. So how do we see the nucleotide changes? And what is the connection between mutation and nucleotide change? How do, first, let me explain you how we see the nucleotide change. We can see the nucleotide changes when we analyze the DNA in a population uh, or in a group of organisms. It can be 10, 20, or hundreds or thousands. So when you analyze the DNA, uh, in groups, you can see some differences between members of the uh, population or between the members of groups. Uh, for example, then uh, I said analysis of DNA. How can we analyze this DNA? That can be DNA sequence analysis, DNA sequencing, sequencing the DNA, or other uh, genotyping methods. DNA analysis, DNA analysis methods, uh, DNA sequencing, and genotyping. So in this website, which is a database, which is the SNP database, you can see one of the nucleotide changes. Uh, you can see position of a nucleotide change. Uh, I'm going to show you first with another window, if I can. Uh, let me see. Let's see. We, yeah, that's this position. Here we go. 
Right. Now, at the moment, we are looking at uh, NCBI websites, NCBI uh, websites, the SNP database. <clears throat> so this is SNP database of NCBI website. And we are looking at a nucleotide change, which is very common in human populations. So there are uh, nucleotide changes that we see in human position, uh, sorry, human poly polymorphisms, uh, which means in some people at this position, in some people we see T, but in some other uh, people, let me see, what do we see? C. So at this position, some of the people have T, but in some other people, uh, there is a C instead of this uh, T. So as you can see, a lot of nucleotides. So this is APOE gene, APOE. And at this position, you may have T or C. That's both possible. Uh, let me show you the uh, SNP ID, polymorphism ID. So because of that, we call this site a polymorphism, or we could also call it a variation. So the nucleotide changes that we see in human genome can be polymorphisms or variations. They are results of mutations. Uh, they're all results of previous mutations, which means nucleotide chains happened sometime in somebody, and they produce new alleles. So for this gene, for uh, APOE gene, has two different alleles for this position. So one allele carries T, the other allele carries C. If there is a T at this position, then uh, it encodes for cysteine. If there is a C at this position, it encodes for arginine. So uh, you may have T or C at this position or uh, in that case, in the protein, in APOE protein, you may have cysteine or arginine. So this is a polymorphic site. This is a polymorphism. Or we could call it a, a variation as well. But I don't call it a variation. I call it polymorphism. I'm going to explain you why it is. Now, and in this, at uh, this position, you can see the alternatives of this uh, SNP. Uh, it can be C or T. Let's go ahead. Let's go forward. Uh, nucleotide change means now you saw what it means. Uh, polymorphic sites or one gene or uh, a piece of DNA to have different alleles at one position. Those are nucleotide changes. So what can those nucleotide changes be? One, polymorphism. Two, uh, variation. Three, mutation. Mutation again. So this is the second meaning of mutation. Basically, all of these are caused by mutations, but this third group mutation has a different meaning. Now, how do these nucleotide changes form? Or what happens and how do these uh, nucleotide changes appear for the first time? Now, uh, remember from the uh, previous picture, Remember from the database, uh, 
the different SNPs, different polymorphisms have different uh, allele frequencies and different genotype frequencies through the populations. Uh, so uh, one allele is more common, the other one is less frequent. So usually the more common allele is the older allele, it's the original allele, but by the time during the evolution of species or even maybe before uh, appearance of species, uh, these nucleotide changes happen. One of the organisms had a mutation at those position and it didn't affect uh, any protein's function. It didn't, and, uh, it didn't cause any uh, phenotypic disadvantage. And those mutations carried, to the, uh, carried through the generations. And the new generations had those mutations. In some cases, those mutant alleles were selected for. <clears throat> so Darwinian selection, because of Darwinian selection, uh, frequency of some alleles increase. In that case, uh, we see the new alleles frequency higher. So there, if there are two alleles for a position, one of them is original allele, the older allele. The other one is uh, the new allele, which is product of mutation. So some mutation happened in somewhere at, uh, in one person's, uh, during one person's replication and that mutation was transmitted to the new generations, next, gen next generations. And that caused nucleotide changes. That caused uh, formation of new alleles. These new alleles can be polymorphism, variation, or mutation. Now, we are gonna see the second meaning of mutation here. Okay, let's say this nucleotide change doesn't cause uh, any disadvantage, it doesn't change anything in the phenotype, or it may be even advantageous. In this case, we call it polymorphism. So we can see that allele in normal population. If we see an allele in the normal population, not in the sick population, not in a disease population, then we call it a polymorphism, okay? Did you understand? Or variation. So nucleotide changes seen in the normal population are polymorphisms and variations. Uh, at in, um, for that, let me say, uh, let's make a new uh, one here. Nucleotide uh, let's start again. Let's restart. Nucleotide changes. So in the first scenario, the first group of nucleotide changes are seen in normal population. They can be polymorphism, or variations. Or the other scenario, the nucleotide change can be seen only in a uh, disease population. Then, we call it mutation. Okay? Did you understand? So in medical genetics, in medical genetics, uh, we call the nucleotide changes seen only in disease population, only in sick, pe sick people, carriers of some uh, diseases, disorders. Then we call them mutation. Now, then how do we distinguish the polymorphisms and 
variations. Polymorphisms. So uh, at this point, I have to tell you uh, another. Uh, uh, first, I have to tell you, uh, explain uh, something else. Uh, allele frequencies. So uh, you saw there were two alleles. One of them had higher allele frequency. Uh, one of the uh, allele fre frequency of one allele was uh, higher than the other one. Uh, then one uh, major allele and two minor allele. Major allele is the allele with the higher allele frequency. Minor allele is the allele with smaller allele frequency. Let's say, for example, uh, we had two alleles and one of them has 0 0.9 allele frequency uh, or uh, 0 0.7 allele frequency. But the, uh, the other allele of the same genotype is in this case 0 0.1. And in case of this uh, polymorphism, it's 0 0.3, right? So uh, the smaller uh, frequency alleles are minor alleles, larger allele frequencies are, uh, the higher allele frequencies are major alleles. So every polymorphism or variation has one minor allele, one major allele. So uh, allele frequency of minor allele is called MAF. So minor allele frequency. Minor allele is uh, frequency of minor allele is called MAF. So if minor uh, allele frequency is larger than 0 0.1, sorry, 0 0.01, then it is called polymorphism. If minor allele frequency is less than, smaller than 0 0.01, then we call it variation. If the nucleotide change is seen only in a sick population, disease population, then we call it a mutation. Is it clear? Did everybody understand? Very good. Evet, yine de emin olabilmek için bir kere de Türk canlı canlı burayı.